So now let's take a look at the left coronary artery. This is an altogether more complicated artery with more branches. We're going to look at it in a couple of views to help you orientate yourself. We'll start off with the areocaudal view. As you can see from the key, this is areo 30, caudal 30. When the left coronary artery exits the aorta, it does so via a vessel known as the left main stem. This left main stem is an extremely important artery. It clearly determines the blood flow into the majority of the myocardium. And as such, narrowings or stenoses in this part of the left coronary artery are extremely prognostically and symptomatically important. The left main stem then divides or bifurcates into two. The first branch is the proximal left anterior descending artery that runs down the front of the heart. It often has a small branch perforating deep into the septum of the ventricle and is therefore known as a septal perforator branch. This branch is important in procedures such as alcohol septal ablation for the treatment of obstructive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The LED then becomes the mid LED and after a further diagonal branch becomes the distal LED. Don't worry too much about the branches at present, we'll go back and discuss these in more detail. Let's go back to the left main stem now. We said it divided to form the LED, but the other branch it forms is the circumflex vessel. There's a proximal circumflex artery. After a branch this becomes the mid-circumflex artery, and then the distal circumflex artery. If the left circulation is dominant, as we've discussed earlier, it supplies the posterior descending artery also. Now let's have a look at the branches and segments in a little more detail. The ostium of the left main stem is where the left coronary artery joins the aorta. This is a very important area for the formation of disease or stenoses. The left main stem also has a midsection, which we sometimes refer to as the body of the left main stem, and the crucial area where it divides into the LAD and the circumflex vessel is referred to as the distal left main stem. As we discussed in the previous image, the proximal LAD gives rise to a first septal perforator branch. As the LAD becomes the mid LAD, it gives rise to a first diagonal branch. Following a second diagonal branch, the LED becomes known as the distal LED. In terms of branches from the circumflex vessel, the first major branch is the first obtuse marginal branch. There can be any number of marginal branches off the circumflex vessel, but ordinarily there's at least two. And here you can see the second obtuse marginal branch being outlined. Let's take a look at the left coronary artery in a different view, just to continue to orientate you. We'll now use a view that's used quite frequently to assess the left coronary artery. It's the ileocaudal view. This is LEO 40, caudal 35. Sometimes steeper caudal angulations can also be used. This view is commonly referred to as the spider view, because the artery in this view sometimes looks like a spider. We're going to keep the same colour key throughout all of the lessons on the left coronary artery, again to help you orientate yourself. So here's the left main stem coming off the aorta. You can see that it branches first to form the proximal LED, which continues to form the mid LED, and then the distal LED. In the spider view, the LED goes off to the left hand side of the screen, The proximal circumflex artery again comes off the left main stem, as we discussed earlier, and the circumflex tends to head to the right-hand side of the screen in the iliocaudal or spider view. Here you can see the proximal circumflex becoming the mid-circumflex, and then the distal circumflex, and again the posterior descending artery, if this is a left-dominant system. Just to refresh our memories about the branches as seen in this view, the ostium of the left main stem here, where the left main stem joins the aorta. The distal left main stem just before it bifurcates into the proximal LED and the circumflex. 
Here off the proximal LED is the first septal perforator branch again, and here the first diagonal branch. Here is the second diagonal branch shown before the distal LED continues round to the apex of the left ventricle. Looking at the circumflex vessel, we have the first obtuse marginal branch coming off the mid-circumflex vessel, just after it becomes that vessel from the proximal circumflex, and again a second obtuse marginal branch before the circumflex continues on to become the distal circumflex and or the PDA in a left dominant system.